This is a video tutorial on how to take pictures of the retina with a smartphone. All you need is a smartphone with a camera and a 20, 28 or 30 dioptic lens for indirect ophthalmoscopy. It is very useful to have these images for telemedicine to show the images to the patient, photographic follow-up of lesions, academic purposes among others. How to take the picture it is very important that the smartphone has a continuous LED flashlight just beside the camera. This is that the light source is coaxial with the camera. I know it works with iPhone 7, 6 and 5, but in theory any smartphone with a light source beside the camera should work. First, open the camera app in your smartphone, then switch it to video mode. This way the flash lights continuously. Be sure the flash is turned on. Now zoom the camera by pinching out with two fingers up to three quarters of the zoom bar. This way I've acquired the best results. Once you have an image of the retina on the screen, start recording and tap the screen to adjust focus and exposure. The pupil should be dilated. Set your patient just as you were going to perform an indirect ophthalmoscopy. Hold the 20 diopted lens 5 cm from the eye and the smartphone 20 to 30 cm from the lens. With this setup, the lens should be filling completely the smartphone screen and make sure to keep it always centered in the screen. You must keep this imaginary axis formed by the pupil, the lens and the camera. Remember, always the lens centered in the screen making small position adjustments back and forward to obtain the image of the retina and tapping the screen to adjust focus and exposure. To keep the lens centered and filling up the screen with, you should make small movements with the smartphone and avoid moving just the lens. Move both lens and smartphone in synchrony. Finally, once the video is recorded, you can pause it in the frame you want to capture and take screenshots by pressing simultaneously the home and lock buttons in the smartphone. Here are some example images I've taken.